I'll do title it says I'll just click go live so we should be connecting up now whoop, whoop. There we are live in the group hi everybody good evening it's Thursday it's time for a bit of a natter and a craft and a knit and a crochet oh you can weave I suppose mm, yeah anything yeah or just read a book or do some cross stitch or something but join in let us know what beverage you got I'm Lorraine from Woolly Madly Deeply and I've got my favorite cup which is I'm out of bed and dressed what more do you want what more do you want? I'm Emma Sadler, Emma Sadler Designs, and I have my Little Miss Sunshine mug with a um, cranberry and elderflower tea. Oh, I've just got builder tea. I haven't got anything posh. Oh. No, I haven't got anything posh at all. And I'm wearing a tin can knit sweater tonight. It's looking resplendent. Um, I think close up it's looking a bit, tiny bit. Um, pilled but nowhere near as bad as I'd expect for a sweater that's a good few years old and has been machine washed quite a bit that's all right then it's held up well yeah I just I can't remember what it's called I'm just going through my projects in my projects it's called secret sweater test but Ooh. the pattern is called spotlight by tin can knits spotlight I like it and I made this with um, special Aran with wool. It's really nice. It's um, blue. It is blue. It's completely the wrong colour for me. I feel quite washed out in it. But it's got a little bit of pink in it for you, though. Um, yeah, it's a cool pink. Uh, the deep purple down at the bottom is okay. That looks black to me. And the middle colour isn't too bad, but the the lighter pink is sort of coolish. So yeah, it's yeah, it's one so of those things. So you've got the wrong blue and the wrong pink. It's just the wrong colours for me. But there you are. What were you thinking? Um, it was before I did my colour analysis training, and I was still going oh. on the the lady that said I was a summer and was a liar. Oh. So, Never mind. But it's, it's very comfortable. It's got short rows at the back neck and a yoke and it's got a dipped back hem and it's very long in the body. It's super so it covers long. your back? It covers me back and my bottom um, and I, I'm, I put a few little belly ease rows in the front as well as a few bum ease rows, <laughs> short rows in the back. I like it. So it's got curved hems front and back with the back being slightly longer. And it's got very long sleeves. I've had to roll the cuffs up a touch, but that's fine. nice and comfy for sitting around at home. It's great for home, and I wear it a lot when I'm dog walking and you know tasks outside that need to be done where you want a layer that you can just take off again. I like it. Yeah, it's like very nice. Deal. I'm wearing a knit tonight. Can you believe that? I don't often wear knits. No, you don't, do you? I'm wearing my Ethel shrug. I put it on to take some photos earlier and I've just not taken it off all day. I've been sat in it. Is this the one where you were dancing? Well, after That's I was dancing, one. you seemed to well, be staggering. I was um, I was doing, I don't know what, uh, it might have been the time warp. Flossing. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't floss. Yeah. It might have been more of a dab. But no. So, yeah, I just, it's very nice and warm. It was too wet weather for a dip dab. It was very wet. And um, to be fair, I'm going to have to take the photos again. I've told Caitlin, I've had a word with her. I said, you need to get better at being behind the camera. Otherwise, you're going to get forced back out the front of the camera. And she ran away at that point. Right. I'm not impressed. I said to her, I said, the garden is a tip. Do not get any of the rubbish in the background. You're going to have to, you know, move me. I can't see what you're seeing and she didn't do any of that and you can see all the rubbish bags and all the tippy stuff in the garden. So have her ears stopped ringing? Mm, probably not. That's probably why she's hiding. Oh, on that subject, someone sent me an image yesterday and it said doctors have, have cured Noddy's tinnitus. Oh, oh yeah. Ringing in your ears. Yeah. And it, his hat's on the floor with the bell cut off. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was the most annoying bit of Noddy. Caitlin was really, really, really into the Noddy TV program that's on Channel 5. Oh, make way for Noddy. That oh, one. I don't know. With all the singing. It was like horrendous. That Maybe that's where I learnt to sing from. It, it could be. Yeah, could could be absolutely that. Ah. So are you are you knitting? What are you doing? I am. I am. I um, I gave in. I cast on something new. Is it a hat? It's a hat. Look. Oh, you said you're in the mood for a hat. I, I am so in the mood for a hat. It's I've been wanting to knit a hat for about a week and I've been trying to do my jumper. So I'll have to show you my jumper as well. But um so I've only cast it on today. Provisional cast on. I've got my spare needle still hanging out down the bottom ready. And I'm gonna do a double brim. Yeah. And then um I've got something in mind for the main bit of the hat, but I'm not going to share just yet because I want to try it out first. Right. There you go. That'll intrigue you, won't it? And I'm using that um, Bellissima in the double denim that I bought the other week. Oh, yeah. Because I do love, I mean, come on, look. That would just look gorgeous on me, won't it? What? so yeah it would look truly awful on me but it looks lovely on you so this is hopefully going to be finished this weekend and i can wear it to work when i go back on monday oh nice i'm still working on my cardigan right um but i've almost finished down to the bottom where i can use the um smaller needles for the rib and I wanted the smaller needles for the rib of my hat. So I thought what I'll do is I'll use my smaller ones for my rib, do my hat. When I get to the body and I want the bigger needles, which are on my cardigan, I'll swap over and I'll, you know, finish off from the big bit and go on to the rib there and I'll have the needles. See, it's a plan. I do have other needles that are the same size, but these are my favourite ones. See, yeah, I'm thinking the flaw in your plan here is not buying more of your favourite needles because I've got, you know, those great big black plastic toolboxes you get in the DIY stores? Yeah. I've got one of those. It's absolutely crammed with needles. Oh, I've got loads knit, of needles. Knit, knit pros and all sorts. There's needles for yeah. every occasion. And the sizes I use a lot, I probably have 10 or 12 of. I, I have... All the knit pros, the straights in the wood, the symphony or whatever it's called. And I've got all of the interchangeables in the symphony and in the metal. And they're just not my favourites. And I've started buying the higher hires. I've got the higher hires for my hat needles. The be. sharps. Oh, I've got the bamboo ones. I, I like them. When I you've like got a slippery, too. when you've got a slippery yarn. I like bamboo for the grip. That's what I use. Can you see that? I can, yeah. It's a uh, fixed circular. 3.25, uh, 80 centimetres. So I don't know if anybody's with us tonight. If you're here, say hello. Tell us um, what needles you like. Yeah, what needles do you like? What are you working on? Or oh, hooks for that matter. Are you a yeah, clo yeah. clover person? Do you like a hook that's shaped? Or are you quite happy with something like this where it's just a straight kind of handle for your crochet um i've tried the sort of shape the ergonomic handles and i actually i'm a lot faster with these and i don't know if it's just because i've not practiced with them i like them but i find that when they put those fancy handles on sometimes the point's too small ah. they need a longer point on them It's right. maybe just the way that I crochet. Yvonne's here. Hello, Yvonne. She's making Hi, a cuppa and grabbing her dinner. What have you got for Ooh. dinner, Yvonne? Is it something good? I've just had a chicken casserole with some herb dumplings. Sounds nice. I had rice pudding. I made a rice pudding. Oh, nice. Mm. It was very nice. Did you flavour it with anything or was it just... I flavoured it. Um, I put brown sugar in instead of white sugar, and I just put cinnamon in. I didn't have any nutmeg. 
so right. just some cinnamon and made with rice milk as well obviously not cow's milk yeah i quite like it with rice milk or almond milk i tried almond milk again the other week and it still gave me stomach cramps mm. and I, which is a pain because it's like half the price of rice milk it is so i've just been sewing in the ends while we've been chatting of a cowl gorgeous cowl so this is diamonds and lace so this is the Aaron version. I've got the DK one here next to my pile of yarn. So, so you, you can see the difference in the sizing. Oh, yeah. You definitely see the difference in that. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I could probably have gone up to a four and a half mil needle on um, the DK. But I really like the fabric and the spring of it. It's... And I like a cowl sometimes that's a slimmer fit rather yeah. than loosey goosey. So with the Aran one, um, I wanted something with a bit more drape. So I went up to a 5.5 mil ne uh, needle. Yeah, because sometimes you just want it to sit there and keep you nice and warm. Otherwise, you have to tuck it around and, you know, fight with it, aren't you? Yeah, and I've had other cows where they've been maybe not as tall, mm -hmm. but then they're wider or looser. So they then kind of flop to one yeah. side. And you end up having to sort of do this with the, and or pin them or something to keep the wind off your neck. And I think, I've, I've got a cow on to keep my neck warm. I want it to fit the way I want it to fit. <laughs> And if you wanted to artistically drape your knit, you'd have gone for a scarf. Well, yeah. And oh, I, don't, sure. I don't want it anywhere near my belly button. <laughs> or, you know, or looped around. And I mean, if I ever looped Carl, I'll probably wrap it around three times, almost to the point of a neck collar, because I yeah. want the warmth. Yeah. I absolutely want that. In the deep winter. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Which is coming. Yeah, we've had a couple of um, cool days this week and last night it was quite chilly. It was a very clear sky, but today it has just been rain. It was, it was okay when I took Jake to work, but it was showery when I got back Yeah, and it's been heavy rain all day and the, mm. the main road into the village is completely flooded right the way across, so right. we won't be using that road for a few days. Oh, nightmare. Yeah, it's a pretty much the same story here. Yesterday it was colder because we had that bit of wind, didn't we? Mm. And I definitely noticed it on the beach. Yeah. This morning it was a degree or two warmer and the, the, the wind had dropped. But then, like you say, the rain came in. I think it's come from the west, so I think you've had it longer today than we have. Possibly. Yeah, yeah so I don't know what colour to go for next. Or I've got this. Are you, what are you making? Are you making another version? Yeah. That's a nice colour. Quite like the rust. I think, is this one called Spice? Prefer the rust. One's just dropped on the floor and that's a burgundy. Okay. I prefer the rust. The Spice is nice. Yeah, and I quite like this colour. It's slightly dark, yeah. but it's really hard to tell. Looks a bit like um, a like a brick colour yeah and i've got teal and i've got mustard did you use the mustard already uh no that was bellissima double knit oh right okay in the mellow yellow right so it's a. oh yeah you can see it's different. very very different yeah but you've already got one in that kind of colour so go for something completely uh -huh. different yeah so i don't know i'll if I play around and... I mean I would go for the teal all day long you know me mm. but it's not necessarily what everybody else would go for well and that's the difficulty isn't it you want to try and have a variety but you don't want to have something that you then left with that you don't necessarily know if you're going to wear it I'm always yeah. very conscious with my sample knits that unless I've got it in mind as a gift for someone that it it needs to be something I'll wear. And, and this is a prime example where I used the yarn that I had and it was a test knit and I really wanted to help them out with it. 
and I enjoy their test nits if they've got a test on our volunteer. Yeah. Uh, thoroughly enjoy it. Um, but my size had gone. So I made a size larger thing. It'd be great mm. for winter. And of course, it's like, I've got enough room to bring a friend. <laughs> and also, you're doing really well and you're still losing weight as well at the moment, aren't you? Not this week, but we won't talk about that. And so, you know, this jumper is... It's only going to get, yeah. it's gonna get bigger and bigger on you. It is. It is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'm, I had debated about frogging it, and I've got a, another one. I think it was it birch bark, right? By Alicia Plummet in the same yarn, and I do wear that. Okay. I did debate about frogging it, but I do like it, and it is comfortable. So, <sighs> all the time that you still wear it, just keep it. I'd say. Well, I mean, they don't last forever. That's no, the thing. no. Oh, Yvonne says, fingers crossed that my new tea is nice. Haven't tried it yet. Sea buckthorn Ooh. and mango flavour. Oh, what's sea buckthorn? Don't know. Yvonne had to look it up, obviously, for the translation. It sounds really nice, but it's is it seaweedy or is it a sea flower, seaside flower? I'm not sure, I've not heard oh. of it. Oh, it's a deciduous shrub in the family of <laughs> yeah the name sea buckthorn may be hyphenated to avoid confusion with unrelated true buckthorns oh interesting uh it's got kind of bright orange berries all right okay so it sounds sweet then I'm not sure what it is, but the berries look like little capsules. Okay. Like you'd have your vitamins in. They're right. sort of longer and thinner, like a capsule, rather mm. than a round berry. Or like a Nurofen. And it must be quite good for Omega-3 because it's on the picture of a lot of Omega-3 products when you use a bit of Google Fool. Um, yeah. And the leaves are a bit like, uh, is it rosemary, the spiky one? Yeah. It's a little bit like that from the pictures. I've got no sense of scale, obviously. Oh, well, that was a lovely description. Yeah, so we're just guessing. Silvery grey leaves and this bright orangey yellow. Actually, not far from that colour. That'd look pretty in a native hedgerow like what I've got in my garden. Hmm, maybe I should get one. Probably should, and you're not that far from the sea, so it would probably benefit from the salt air. Yeah, yeah. Is your soil sandy enough, though? I don't know what my soil is. I filled it up with a load of topsoil this summer, didn't I? Yeah. It's, it's so... pro probably just mud in this weather, to be honest. But, okay. You know how oh. it is. Yeah. I'm going to get my jumper out for a minute. Do you want to see my cardi? I do. Yeah, right. I am. Let's have a look. I've got that much left of my second ball. And I'm almost at the ribbing at the bottom. I think I've only got a couple of rows to go. And I then... told you, it goes a long way. So, yeah, two bowls to do the back and the two fronts. It's very difficult to show a cardigan off on screen, to be fair. It is, unless you've got um, a Victoria in the background that you can sort of throw it on. I haven't. Yeah, Arthur's probably not the right shape. No, no. And also he says it's not his colour, so he refuses to try it on for me. All right, so Yvonne says the berries are rather sour, not good to eat on their own. Ooh. Jackie's here. Hi, Jackie. Oh, hi, Jackie. Nice Jackie. to see you. Jackie took the photographs of me wearing this sweater on my project page. When was that? Oh, gosh. Uh, I finished it in September of 2015. Wow. So five years ago. Yeah. Wowee. So, um... Should I tell everyone that my husband is in the doghouse? 
Well, he's not in the doghouse yet because he's not home to be in the doghouse. Yeah, but he's in the doghouse for choosing to come home right at the beginning of my favourite time of year. He's interrupting the gift along, ladies. He is interrupting the gift along. He's coming home on the 30th of November and I am at least two weeks short of pure knitting time before he comes home now. What, because you'll have to clean? Well, I mean, I'll have to clean before he comes home. I'll have to wrap up his Christmas presents. But to be fair, I'm just going to do, you know, that thing that you do 10 minutes before somebody turns up at your house and it looks fine unless you scratch the surface. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you just tidy it around a bit. I'm going to do that. And then, so this week I had loads of plans to do stuff and I haven't done any of it. Because now I'm just going, oh, that needs doing in the garden. Oh, my husband can't go out for two weeks. He can go in the back garden and do that. Right. And I've just been going around the whole house doing that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, now that wall that, that needs painting. Oh, you can paint that wall while I'm at work. See you later. <laughs> what you need is a load of post-it notes. Yeah. That you can just stick it in the various places with arrows going, paint this, fix that. Yeah. Tidy garden. The garden is the big one because it's too wet and horrible for me. But he's a true northerner, so he can get out there to find. Well, it's probably a man task. Well, fixing the fence is, to be fair. Yeah, it's a man yeah. task. Yeah. There are certain things that are man tasks. I mean, I'm all for, you know, equal and all the rest of it, unless I don't want to do it, and therefore then it is a man's job. Simply not because I can't do it, but because I don't want to do it. Well, yeah. It's fair, isn't it? Well, when Mike says that there's a biometric lock on the dishwasher and he can't empty it, I so think that's a choice. Back. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you've you've got jobs that you get in back with then, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. I don't blame you. And, and the dogs, because within a nanosecond of him arriving, they've already loaded themselves into his car. To be taken to the beach? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank God they're asleep. Oh, sorry. So then... You have to spell it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I spoil Arthur with trips to that place this week. Callum actually had a moan at me. He went, you've taken Arthur to the three days in a row this week now and I went yeah because I'm on holiday and I can well he's only going to expect that every day and I'm not able to take him down there <laughs> well get a car then learn to drive there's a car there we can use it sort <laughs> yourself out young man <laughs> want to learn. oh bless yeah now Jake panicked last night because I was late picking him up because there was a, a light on on the car that shouldn't have been on and I was Checking the oil and doing stuff to make sure that it wasn't in imminent danger of dying. Yeah. So I was 10 minutes late and then he got in the car faffing around. Mm. And it, it's, oh, well, I'm up here. You'll have to drive up there and I'll walk across the traffic lights and meet you. So he stood sort of at the end of the junction. So this is the main road and I'm back here because that's where I have to stop. And the lights go green and he's going, well, come here then. I've got traffic behind me it, and the bit that I stop it, it takes so long to get in the car it then goes to bed so I'm then sat on the keep clear bit while he's faffing about and well I've got to ring my mate and tell him he hasn't got to pick me up and I said I'm 10 minutes late you know grow a pair why yeah. are you ringing someone because I'm 10 minutes late traffic and all when have I ever not picked you up when I've yeah. said that I was coming yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I suppose so. So he rings this friend and sorts it out. And I think it's the same friend who's bringing him home tonight. So I'm hoping that they'll go to, uh, they went to McDonald's or KFC or somewhere last week and right. got something to eat. But well, it just means more chicken casserole and dumplings for me. No self interest here. It's fine. Last night, honestly, we were sat watching Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares, me and Callum, and he suddenly pipes up that he wants a pizza. I'm like, well, I'm not buying a pizza. I can't have one. Pizza, um, Domino's aren't doing the gluten-free bases. 
So you want a pizza? You can get yourself a pizza, but I'm not getting one if I can't have any. So he did. He ordered himself a pizza, didn't he? Well, that's fair enough. He did what you told him. You're not, you're not liking this now, are you? It's so funny, though, because he sat there and he goes, right, I've put everything in the basket that I want, and it's 40 quid. And I went, for one person? He took a few things out. <laughs> but he did say he's got enough pizza to last him for three days now. <laughs> Kids, eh? Oh, just anything like that with Jay, because the world, you order what you like, but you're paying for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I happened. cook actual meals. They are in the yeah. kitchen. Yeah. Help yourself to real food, which you may have. Free dad. Yeah. You lucky, lucky people. Yeah, I'll spend money on rubbish. So I've sent him this message saying, oh, it's chicken casserole and dumplings, but you won't like it. Which, which is code for, I don't want you to eat it because I want it all. Which means oh, right. it'll, it'll all be gone by the time I get up in the morning. Because uh, he does like it. He loves the casserole. He loves dumplings. Um, yeah. He likes beef. He likes... He, he'll eat most things. He's, he did go through a phase where he's picky about vegetables and you cannot get avocado into him. Mm, I can't stand it. The first time I gave it to him, he was five, and he screamed. So you can imagine this child screaming at the top of its voice, with his tongue out, going like this, scraping the avocado off his tongue. Good man. <laughs> yeah. All, all this and screaming. Yeah. And simultaneously scream while scraping his tongue. And then wandering back into mum and going, oh, gosh, she then gives him some mouthwash or something to get this stuff out of his mouth. Like, what have you it's given horrible. him? It's avocado. Honestly, you thought it was the worst poison in the world, the way he acted. And I, he I agree he with him. It at all now. It's horrible. It is the devil's food. It's disgusting. I love avocado. No. I no, rarely no. get to eat it because there's too many sins. No. For Slimming World, it's not something we whack down our neck. So, Sorry. No. So I'll have to have a think about grading my hat. All right, okay. Well, where are we at with that at the moment then? Well, it's just I've done quite a bit of work on the crown to yeah. make the pattern sort of flow into the crown. Gorgeous. I see that. Um, and I think it works quite well, but with it being a 26 stitch pattern repeat, if I go up a size, the body of the hat's going to be quite big mm. um, and the pattern on the brim won't necessarily flow into the cables. So I need to think about that because some of these four stitch cables may need to be twos in the ribbing and then some little judicious increases in, in a row Yeah, um, to make it wide enough for the extra stitches I'm going to need. Um, and the thing is, if I add sort of 26 stitches to over 100 stitches, and I'm using a DK yarn with the ribbon, it, it that's going to be a big hat. Yeah, you're going to have to have a big head for it. Yeah, so I've, I'm going to have to really think about how I make that pattern graduate into it. And I hate doing it. I've only done it on the wheat sheaf hat, I think, where I did one by one ribbing. Because right. whatever way I did it to work into the cables was unbalanced. Okay. Or it ended up with a brim because there were fours next to fours and not enough twos to bring it in. That the brim was too floppy. And then it was just out of proportion in terms of fit, even with a folded brim. So it, it's kind of making my brain ache at the moment. But the pattern's written. Yeah, the actual written instructions are there, and the charts are done for this size. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll just have to play around with the crown, and I'll maybe be able to get a larger adult size. I'm thinking if I have to do smaller sizes for children, that we're going to lose some of the detailing on the crown, which will be a shame. So I don't know whether to just do two adult sizes because a lot of people do that with hat patterns and are quite successful. Yeah. At yeah. the end of the day. So I don't Sometimes, know. you know, the pattern just is what the pattern is. 
Yeah, I'm itching to try this on because obviously I've then. just done the, the thingy bobbin. They're weaving in of ends, so there may be ends showing. It's fine. Oh, look at that. That is a comfy cowl. Yeah, I like a cowl that's going to go. Because then you could put your coat over it and hold that's it in what, place. That's exactly what I want, yeah. Yeah. And I like the fact that with this sort of size, I can tuck it under. Yeah. Fold it in on itself and wear it more open if I want a bit more of a draft. Yeah, it's lovely. I like it. So, yeah, I feel better with that colour next to my face. That's good. <laughs> the only thing is you are going to get warm very soon. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm feeling yeah. warm. With, with with Ethel. With Ethel on. Ethel's what well, can I ask it. why you chose the name Ethel? One of my mum's neighbours was called Ethel, God rest her soul. And Jake for years used to call her and her husband Ronnie. Ronnie and awful. Oh <laughs> Ethel. Awful. I like Ethel. I awful. Like it. Ronnie and nice. awful. It's a nice name. I think so the other one. She was lovely. But well, this awful. one, this one's garter. Mm -hmm. It's a garter stripe. But I've got um, I did one in a stocking stitch and one in like a basket weave, and they're called Edith and Edna. I think they are. Okay. Just old-fashioned names. Were you volunteering in a retirement home or something? Well, no, I just, well, I think Edith. I might have been watching Downton Abbey or something at the time, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and then I just thought, what what would go with Edith? Yeah. Ethel and Edna, you know, Edna, Will of the Wisp. Yeah, Eve, evil Edna. Aren't she Kelly? Uh, Yvonne says she loves avocado, but P hates it as well. It, it's this teen boy thing. Emma's just channeling a teenage boy. That's... I think I think it's a Marmite thing. I think you either absolutely love it or absolutely loathe it. I think it might be the texture rather than the taste because it's quite buttery and fatty. And I, I don't know. I just think that, that nobody's indifferent to avocado, are they? Nobody's like, oh, I don't mind it. It's okay. I can take it or leave it. You love it. You hate it. Yeah, it could be that. But um, I know that with butter, if you butter some bread for Mike for sandwiches, I mean, you could almost slice the butter and have it on that thick. And he's quite happy. The more butter there is, the happier he is. Me too. Jake, Jake wants you to microwave the butter so that it's softer and then just sort of scrape it over so that there's a light covering. Now, see, I don't think it's that because I hate avocado, but I love butter. Mm. I don't love a know. nice don't thick know. coating on stuff. Especially when it's melty. Oh, Helen's here. Oh, hi, Helen. I, um, I was admiring Helen's blanket from her photographs. Did you Ooh, see it? No, I haven't seen any photos. Well, you've missed out. Where were said photos? Um, They were on Ravelry. Oh. Where did she post them on Ravelry? finish a long gal prep i think ah uh, i haven't been in there today uh, i only went in the chat thread today was it in there helen or was it somewhere or was it in the fo thread could have been the fo thread i always forget to go in the fo thread always uh where is it it's not that no it's not in the fo thread wait Sorry, my dog is slurping his non-existent balls. There's no answer to that. Don't don't worry. Yeah. Um, mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just, now, has anybody else got an answer to that one? Because yeah, I've Lorraine doesn't it. want to hear that noise. No, it's all a bit slurpy, isn't it? Mm. Rude. Uh, where is it? No, this weasel socks. There's a zebra hat. Okay. Oh, come on, Helen. Did I just see it on Facebook? She said it's on her project page. So, that means to be having to look for them. I know. <laughs> we just weren't prepared for this tonight, were we? Good grief. <laughs> After party <laughs> members. 
search members no i just go in the chat and look at the chattiest and then the people turn up that way yeah And surprisingly, well, it's, it's, usually, it's usually 81 voices in the um, thingy thread. Mm. Where's your avatar? Oh, there it is. You found her. I think so. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What happened to the cable jacket, Helen? The cable jacket of doom? Oh, no. Did well, get it wasn't of doom. I think it probably got put to one side. Right. Mm. So hang on. Share screen. And and Helen has specifically asked me to say, yeah, it's not blue. Really? Yeah, it's just the screen, isn't it? It's it's just the screen. It's not blue. Well, do you know what? I can see that there are some bits of it that are not blue. However, yeah, it's not I, blue, is it, Helen? I Tell can her. see some bits of it that are most definitely blue. No, no. It, honestly, it's just the lighting in their sunroom. You can't fool me. No, it's not blue. It's blue. It's not blue. So is every single square different? Well, well, not even square. What what can we call them? Well, it's in five strips, and then you've got panels in each strip. But every single one is different, isn't it? I can't see anything that's repeated. Yeah, I don't think there's anything matchy matchy. It's unbelievable. I know. It's honestly how many hours went into that, Helen? And weeks, the, weeks, the months. Bits down the side as well. All oh, right, so the cardigan's still on the sofa and needs cold weather to work on it. Oh right, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a monumental cardigan when it's done though. I, I mean look at come that. On. See that's not blue. That's not blue, that's fine. I'll I'll give you that one not being blue. That's purple. That's blue. That's purple. And that's blue. That's not blue. Those aren't blue, definitely. That's not blue. Blue. That's blue. grey. It's grey. It's just poor lighting. Blue. That's not blue. There's some blue in there at the top. You can see it. It's not blue. I can see it. It's not blue. Those aren't blue. That's fine. I'll let you have that. See, look, and and that's definitely not blue. That's definitely not blue. And there's some more not blue. Oh wow! Look at that in between the two of them, the middly bit. The two colour rope. Is is that what it's called? I don't know. It's just gorgeous. That's exceptionally clever, isn't it? How does anybody know how to do that? Uh, Helen's just really clever. Has she got some kind of superhero brain? Possibly. Uh, it might be the coder in her that, that helps her solve mm. these riddles. Uh, it said three months from starting. That's a long time. So there you are. I'll stop sharing now. Oh, hello. So back to us now. Sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> for him. Just us and Edna. Oh, I can see Arthur at the back. Yeah, he's snoozing. In. He keeps giving me the evils. I've changed his diet. Oh dear, what what to? Well, uh, you know, you can have a mixture of things. So we're we're mixing it up a bit. And um, for his tea, he had porridge made with water, with tuna fish, and banana. What? But he scoffed it. He couldn't get it down quick enough. Loved it. Sorry if you starved me. I might eat it, but I think I'd keep it up. <laughs> so this is Helen's cable jacket. It's the mini, wow. mini, mini Missy Me sweater coat by Christina Galanda. It's like a coat again. Look at those cables. You did make some modifications, if I remember rightly, Helen. Is it going to have sleeves? Yeah. Right. Didn't like to just assume. Oh, here we go. So she's worked fewer, fewer rows on, fewer stitches in the short rows to avoid stacking. 
Oh, this has been going on since January last year. This particular one? Yeah. Wow. Look at how many hours would have gone into that, though. Yeah, and also she did do that masterpiece in between as well. Well, and it's three months, I think, Helen said, for the um, the blanket, sort of all told. I mean, oh, wow. I mean, the mind boggles, it really does. All that maths. I know, astounding, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Are you hot yet? I'm quite warm now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a little bit on the warm side. I've got sort of a warm patch here. Yeah, I wonder why. But my hands are cold. You need some fingerless mitts. Mm, maybe. And then a hat and you'll be wearing everything then, won't you? I was cuddled up under a crochet blanket the other day. Have you not got a hat next to you somewhere? <laughs> um, I, think, I think it's gone into the car. Uh, so, um, oh, I might have Helen's hat. It's probably behind there somewhere. Right. The, the Bella Beanie. The Bella Beanie. It's funny, isn't it, how sometimes you just want to put everything on? Well, I was cold and I couldn't get warm. And, and the thing is, if I put the heating on, mm. I'm, I'm then too hot. And I just yeah. thought, I'm going to layer up and cover myself in knit and crochet and it'll just be fine because it just always is. Yeah. So it's all right. Nature's way. Oh, Yvonne says the sea buckthorn tea is quite nice. Oh, that's good. Yeah, they don't that, have very nice ones. It would be nice with mango because mango is quite sweet and almost peppery, isn't it? See, now you talk about texture. I like the taste of mango because I've got, um, I think, is it an orange and mango tea or something that I have? And I do like the taste of mango. Can't eat mangoes. Don't like them. Mm. You're going to need some before hubby comes home. Now, now, now. I'm not going near him. Two weeks. He's got a, I might put him in here, actually. He can sleep in Arthur's bed. What will you do about our lives? Are you, are you just going to lock I'll him just, out? Yeah, I'll just tell him to go. He can go somewhere else at that point. <laughs> He's got so many jobs to do. He could go out in the garden and do some jobs or something, can't he? Yeah, yeah well, all the post-it notes you're going to get. You're going to need to order a big box of post-it notes. Yeah. Fix this, paint that. Paint that, yeah. Or you can go and bother one of the children. He goes and sits and watches Callum gaming and get, Callum hates it. Why? Because it's like having someone looking over your shoulder at what you're doing, I suppose, isn't it? Oh, while you're typing or whatever. Yeah, I can never type when I'm being watched. It's awful. I can't do anything when I'm being watched, even something I'm really confident on. Well, it never bothers me with knitting or things like that. But no, it does me. Typing, it completely freaks me out. Which, no, I, I, which I can do with my eyes shut. I don't don't really understand what the problem is. As long as you've got your fingers on the home keys, mm -hmm. you know, you're kind of golden, aren't you, if you learn yeah. to touch type? You'll I learned to touch type when I was 18. Oh, and Helen loves mangoes. I absolutely love them. Hmm. So has everyone got, well, has anyone got any whips? What's Helen working on now then? Now that the blanket is finished. Hats. You know, hats, lots hats. and lots and lots of hats. Yvonne, have you finished your shawl? I'm going to have to take this off. I'm absolutely roasted. Yeah. It is super yeah. chunky. Are you are you getting to that kind of age where, you know? I don't know. I'm still on the pill, so it's difficult to tell. Hot flushy. Do mm. you want to see something cute and crochet-y while, while, while you divest yourself of some like Go for it. Cute and crochet-y is good. What about these? Now, those are just super cute. I think they're adorbs. I mean, look at the little Christmas lights as well. Oh. And is that a chenille yarn? I think it is. Oh, it's going to be ridiculously soft, isn't it? That was it? really popular in the 90s, wasn't it, chenille? Yeah. Everything was chenille. Blankets and jumpers and I think even tracksuits were chenille at one point. I do like it. I wish I could do more things like that. Well, the only way to learn is um, just get on with it. Oh, she's, Helen's on mittens now. 
Is this oh. the, the, the leopardy ones to go with the hat that you just re-knit your sample of? There was there was a lot of talk about mittens, mm. wasn't there? I just kind of skimmed over it. Something to do with thumbs and gussets and stuff. Well, yeah, and it's about the centering of the pattern on the back of the hand. Okay. Um, because my hand sort of naturally sits like a Lego hand. <laughs> Even when I'm relaxed, it it. It's it's not a flat hand, but thumbs very often stick out on mittens as if your hand is flat. And you centre it to the centre of the thumb and then do the pattern across the back of the hand. But if your thumb is more towards the palm of your hand than the back of your hand, then it means that the pattern isn't necessarily centered on your hand so i think it really is just a case of knowing your own measurements on your hand and moving that round my thumbs are migrating look that is look at the shape of that what's that all about arthritis <laughs> so so this one is that what you mean where they've got yeah, they've got the thumb on the palm. Like that. Yeah, which is okay. fine if that's comfortable for you. But if your thumb is an outy thumb, some people never really do that. It's much more comfortable for them to have the thumb out. So very often the thumb is knitted on the side seam. Oh, yeah. Okay. And on the palm. Right, it's so it, it, would, it would come here. Yeah, there'd be a gusset there going there. outwards, and then you get the room on the palm. Okay. These are the Jesse McKittrick. McKittrick Lily ones. I absolutely love them. My only issue with mittens, I don't really wear them other than driving. You know, like when you, you're touching mm. a freezing cold steering wheel, and mittens are great for keeping your hands warm in that circumstance. But my only issue with mittens is I always feel like I'm just going to get something out of the oven. Yeah, I suppose that's one of those things, isn't it? But I do like a nice warm mitten, particularly if we've got snowy weather, but we don't really get much snow. I prefer gloves, but I haven't got the patience to knit gloves. I've knitted gloves. Um, it's torturous. Yeah. It looks um, it. Yeah. No. I think I'd much rather just have a cheap pair of gloves that I yeah. get from the shops. Shh. Yeah, I but, get my um, £1 magic gloves from Pat's um, wool stall in the market. They're fab, aren't they? They look like that big. And anybody's hand fits in them. They're amazing. I know, I know. Yeah. But they don't last a season. That's um, Helen says her thumbs have worked a couple of stitches in from the palm. Right. So yeah, right. I, I'd like to offset mine ever so slightly. Right. To, to try, because I have the same issue with the positioning about the, the centre of the back, if you've got a palm. So, if you were to make gloves... Mm. If I would, you, would you gloves. still you wouldn't put you wouldn't put a thumb there on a glove then, would you? Would you put the thumb on the side? I put the thumb on the side, yeah. Right. So that that is only a mitten thing then. Um, some people might do that with gloves, but I would put them on the side with a thumb gusset. Okay. Cool. That's personal preference. It's yeah. It's not you know it's not a, a rule. <laughs> or yeah. Any of that. Mm. It's true. So, have you seen anything exciting? I saw Raven Knits had uh, released a uh, dog walkers mittens to go with their hat the other day. All oh, right, no, I didn't see that. Yeah, George has suggested that I might like to use this style for my photography. Okay. So, I'll show you the picture that I'm thinking of. Oh, this yeah. Is, we this is the one he thinks I can use. Yeah, yeah. Did you not tell him that you could still see too much of you in that one? <laughs> oh, look, she's loving life, isn't she? I know. Well, I, I just said to him that we could do the photographs like that, but I like everyone to see his makeup when he's wearing my hand knits. Well, yeah. 
So he's not replied to that one yet. Uh, oh, mittens are not good for using a pooper scooper on dog walks. No, you need, yeah. To be fair, I always take my gloves or mittens off when dealing with yeah. that, just in case, because, you know, yeah, just in case, but yeah. Yeah, oh, that's not, a pleasant not, conversation, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose it's a relevant one in relation to care of hand knits. <laughs> yes, definitely care of hand knits. Yeah, not just knits for the hand. No, yeah. no, definitely. So, uh, no, I haven't. I mean, I, I did I did release a pattern of my own and I did. Oh, I did see a pattern of yours this week as well, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we well, both have new ones out this week. So, Yay, go Oz, getting ready. Yeah, I'm just searching for knickers now. Knickers, woo woo, everybody needs knickers. Oh, and it's number two when you search for knickers. I'm not sure that that's quite the words I was looking for. Um, <laughs> number yeah, twos, um, number twos with knickers. <laughs> and number two in knickers. <laughs> Yay! I am a saddler, the little pink ruffled my bobs. For I mean, baby bottoms. They are cute, really. I'm, I've got to say it myself. I'm sorry. They're cute. They are very sweet. Yes. I like the little teddy bear as well. He's got a cheeky, cheeky little Oh, uh, My husband sent me that for Valentine's Day one year, and he quite often sneaks in my photos. Oh, bless. Yeah. What, what about the bear? Does the... Well, you know, that too. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, number two in knickers. Where's your cowl? I don't know. It could be anywhere. There it is. Yay. It's a popular name. It's gorgeous. Look at that. I particularly like this photograph that the auntie mom is taking. So. It's lovely, that one. Pretty. Really like the way oh, the oh, 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 Can I see the doggo? It's not a doggo. It's, it's a kitty. Oh, it's a pretty cat. Oh, that's cute. Oh, bless. Now, so, um, I know the name of the cat. The cat is called Delmar. Delmar. Yeah. So, so have a look at your last two photos. You can definitely see the difference in height in those two then, yeah? Yes. So anyway, so, now when that comes up. So, yeah. so that's... That's two pattern repeats. Okay, and then the other one is just one just one pattern repeat and then ah uh, yeah about three Which, extra, three extra rows to balance the cable i mean it's it's perfect isn't it because you can have that like we were just talking earlier that would sit lovely just under your chin put your coat on you sorted and then the other the other one the bigger one for when the winter really sets in yeah and you want something bigger well, I suppose everybody's different in the way that they like their cowls, aren't they? Um, yeah. I like to be able to fold mine over double vertically and have that extra warmth. Um, yeah. So I'd, I usually go for the taller cowl rather than the shorter one. Yeah. Um, but my friend Jackie would probably go for the shorter cowl but a lot longer. So a longer loop, she would want it sort of down towards the bust area rather than – she doesn't like anything close to her neck. Yeah, I'm quite like that, to mm. be fair. My mum's the same. Although I think scarves and cowls and shawls and things, I can tolerate them up here for so long because I know that I can take them off. But jumpers, no way. So this is as high as I would go with a neckline. If you tried to put me in a turtleneck, I'd be all night long doing that. So I quite, I, well, I like a loose turtleneck or a cowl neck. That that doesn't bother me at if all. It's ha if it's a loose one and it hangs down there, yeah, that's fine. But not, you know, like the ones that come up here and they're, they're tight on you and you can't yeah. pull them down. Yeah, I think my natural inclination would be to go for a V-neck because that is my favourite. Yeah, I like a V-neck. Most definitely. Uh, I mean, I quite like this yoke. Um, and the colour pattern, I have to say, does have the desired effect for someone with narrow shoulders and a broader lower body it balances everything out because it draws the eye 
with the pattern and the colours and you look up, you don't look at the lower body at all. You really don't notice it because you're busy watching the pattern. Mm. So it absolutely worked brilliantly in that in that but part. I think I'm more of an upside down triangle. Yeah, so you do. So they just look awful. Yeah, on well, you want the pattern on the, the lower body. Mm. I'm quite broad across here. Yeah, it's, it, it wouldn't work for me. It would be sort of underlining a big nose with a Hitler moustache. Oh, right, yeah. Sort of that, <laughs> that equivalent. Um, and there's, I can't remember who it was. One of the gift along ladies, she's made a beautiful mosaic patterned cardigan and it's absolutely stunning. And she's beautiful and slim, but because a lot of the patterning is in the lower body, makes the lower body look a lot bigger. And yet you see her in other photographs and she's not carrying any weight there at all. Uh, um, but it really draws the eye there. I, I must say I did see somebody's avatar this week and I thought, oh, Need a better bra, love. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> we could all do with a better bra, let's be perfectly honest. Or one at all, sometimes in my case. <laughs> well, yeah, and that was with a yoke sweater, wasn't it? No, it was so uh, it's a raglan. Oh, was. isn't it a raglan? It was a raglan. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I like a raglan. I think it fits me quite nicely, actually. Um, with the lines going there, it kind of narrows my shoulders down a bit. Yeah. But, yeah, must wear bra. Yeah, they were sort of... <laughs> Roll them up. <laughs> fer ferreting about. They were doing a lot of moving. <laughs> it's probably the one, of, one of the most popular videos we've ever had with, with our male audience. <laughs> Because you got a lot of views. Yeah. Well, <laughs> only this one segment. <laughs> oh, Helen says she only wears one for, for pattern photos. And and that's, that's fine. And I think that's a good idea because then people get an idea of how it might look on them and, sort of, you know. Honestly, Helen, if I wasn't doing this with Lorraine, I wouldn't be having one on right now either. <laughs> well, I, I must admit, I put my bra on every day and it's just habit because I'm used to being seen. Yeah. Meetings and dashing here and dashing there. I'm just used to it. It's part of my routine to wear one. I like not having to wear one and, and if you called in sort of late on a Saturday morning when I've not got to go anywhere, you might catch me braless. Mm -hmm. um, no, having them poke underneath the seam of me, hem of me teeth. Just don't trip on them when you're busy doing your chores. Oh, honestly, right. and, and you're having to continually tuck them into the waistband of your jeans. It's just, <laughs> no, it's, it's not a good look for me. Um, I, I like to feel like they're battened down and, and I know where they're at and they move around a lot it, yeah. I can't be doing with the swinging and the um, yeah they do get in the way if you're busy I'll give you that yeah I mean when they, when they were massive when I was pregnant with Jake I, mean, I, I couldn't lie on my stomach I couldn't lie on my side I could sit and have a cup of tea and, and sit the mug on top and it wouldn't fall off excellent so that's how big and solid they were it was yeah a couple of bowling balls they were awful and the size of the brows i had to get i mean god i could get my bum in them now <sighs> the, wor the, the worst bit now because obviously i have lost i've lost about 17 kilos now so the girls have gone down a bit I have a mirror, a full length mirror in my wardrobe. So when I'm getting dressed, I open the wardrobe door so that I've got the mirror there. And as I'm getting, yeah, that looks right now. It doesn't look right. Whatever. I was bent over putting some socks on and I caught myself in the mirror. <laughs> they do not look good in that. <laughs> 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 Honestly, no. Keep the door shut until you're fully dressed. Now, love. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, do you know what? Actually, I saw an advert this week for Dove, 
and hats off. I love Dove and I'm going to go and buy this. They said there's nothing anti about aging. So they call their, their creams for the older lady pro aging now. All ah, right. Okay. I love it. I want some. My mm. Dove pro aging cream. Yeah. Is it Does it does it make you age like Helen Mirren is what I want to know. What with plastic surgery? Well, but without the plastic surgery. I don't know. Um uh, I mean you could say would would it make you age like Jane Fonda, but you know. Jane Fonda oh She does look yeah. amazing, but my god she's had some work. She does not look like an eighty year old woman. No, she doesn't. And Dolly Parton doesn't look her age either. Uh, Maggie Smith. Now, there's a lady who's embraced being older. See, I quite like the fine line. Exactly. I love it. And, I, and I'm loving the grey as it's coming through. And I love Maggie Smith. Oh, I think she's, I just, she's doing it right. Yeah, I don't see what the problem is. I, I mean, I, I, I can understand that for women in Hollywood it's an issue because... Once you get to a certain age, you struggle to get roles because they're not writing stuff for women of a certain age. You, you either have to produce it and write it yourself yeah. or find someone who will do that for you. Yeah. And there are more roles coming forward, but there just seem to be this wilderness area of about 25 years worth where you're too old for this and you're too young for that. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I can understand why people want to hang on to that youth for maybe a little bit longer, but not to the point where I've lost all facial expression. <laughs> or you've had so many facelifts that you start to have a beard. Yeah. Uh, mm. <laughs> That's not a good look. <laughs> Are we back on the uh, the pasties and stuff again now? <laughs> well, a friend of mine posted a message the other day about the village quiz with a made-up question, I might add. It wasn't okay. one that was asked, but it was along the lines of, where do women have the curliest hair? Under their arms. Apparently Fiji is the answer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, I like that. it was just one of those where I thought, yeah, I got that wrong. <laughs> I like that one, that's good. Did I, did anybody get that right? Uh, I certainly didn't. No, no, no definitely I didn't, not. Didn't think anybody would. So, so does anybody want to go uh, um, describing their week in five days for uh, five words? Five words. Describe your week in five words. Play at home, everyone. I'm going to say half term uh, dog walking. Am I allowed to say that word? Are the dog, are they listening? There, there is there is sleep. You're okay. All right. So so that is me. Most most of my highlight was walking the dog on the on the beach. Yeah. Uh, too much driving, naughty car. <gasps> yeah, your car is being very naughty at the moment. Yeah, it's been a bit piss piss Did you did you get a branch and give it a good whacking to? It was too wet. Well, sorry. You need to. You need. It needs its punishment. Get the branch tomorrow, and tell it who's boss. Yeah, I'm gonna keep driving round to the garage and see if I can actually catch the guy there, so I can get the wretched thing fixed. You know what you need to do? Is go where you're knitting and just sit and wait. <laughs> uh, I waited two and a half hours for him last time. Oof. Yeah, I got a lot of knitting done. Yeah, I was gonna say you wanted to do another cow. <laughs> But I could probably knit a sweater in the time I went there. And, and I did check the opening hours on his garage door, but it says, from when I can be bothered to when the wife will let me home. Has he not got any kind of, like, phone number you can at least get hold of him? On? There's there's two mobile numbers, neither of which answer. Oh. Can you I, send him a text? I've sent a Facebook message. Uh, I, right. might, I might get an answer on that in a few days. There is a landline, but nobody knows the number because it's not advertised. <laughs> uh, it's, if you need to know, and you obviously don't need to know. Yeah, it's all a bit secret squirrel. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he's, he's, you know, he shouldn't be working. 
Um, I don't know. I mean, it's a legit business. They, they're they very good. He, he works at a very reasonable price. Um, well, maybe that's the problem. He's too good and he's hiding from all the hordes of people that want him. Oh, so Yvonne says, busy work, new, not lockdown. Oh, yeah, that sounds like us. We're not in a lockdown, but are. And Helen says, is an, another good one. So eating too much yet again yeah but you know what it is it's these autumn nights when they start drawing in and getting dark and cold your body is starting to crave comfort food getting well, you ready for and the winter been bottling and pickling and chutney in and preserving yeah. and all them yeah. pears yeah. all them apples yeah uh, rita says so tired of election commercials oh rita i'm so sorry for you over there at the moment with the all the rubbish that just must be on, on the TV advertising this election when you're all sick of it already. And as a bonus, not only have they got Joe Biden and Donald Trump fighting it out, Nigel Farage is going to cross as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> Apparently, he is, you know, his favourite, his number one fan, I think, isn't he? What was it? He gave a speech, to Donald Trump. What did he say? I don't know. Um, I can only apologise, Rita, that Nigel Farage uh, has visited the US. Uh, I apologise on behalf of all the British people that that yeah. re repulsive waste of DNA has visited your shores. Please feel free to flush him away with the trash or put him down the waste disposal at your earliest opportunity. Thank you. Can we? Can we? Um, <laughs> can we do something about the borders while he's away? Um, well, you could maybe close them, but Boris will just let him back in. Uh, he's got a British passport, hasn't he? What can we do about that? I don't know. What does he need to do in order for us to revoke it? I don't know. His, his, his wife um, is German, and I, but I wouldn't want uh, to inflict him on the Germans either. I don't think that's very fair to send him there. No, I don't, I don't know where we can um, send him. I'm thinking the moon or Mars they're kind of my list for Mr. yeah but they keep Earth. talking about it being possible that we might be able to live there and colonize it so you know you're just kicking the can down the road if you send him up there aren't you well yeah possibly yeah, um, i don't want to do that yeah anyway right well, um i'll have to love you and leave you because i've got a parish council meeting at half past seven Excellent. <laughs> to get ready for that's that's good timing because i need a wee and um I was thinking tonight, because obviously it's the last time that we're going to be um, in October. When we see everybody next, we'll be in November, won't we? Yeah. So um, so I've got a special verse on my outro song. Okay. That encompasses a roundup of October, which was Black History Month and Breast Awareness Month. And also a little nod to Halloween and the fact that we can't go trick-or-treating. So, you yeah. know. Uh, Yvonne, I promise we won't send you Nigel Farage. I promise. Just me. Just me. I can come and sing for you, Yvonne, okay? So that's better. Do you need to do your vocals and just... I do. And yeah. um, yesterday I was watching Splash. Oh, Daryl Hannah. Yeah, and I was taking a leaf out of her book and I was going to do her warm-up, but then I thought, no, I've done that. And then this morning I was listening to the specials, Ghost Town. Yeah. And I thought there's a bit in Ghost Town that is just perfect for my warm-up. Okay. So are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to... Oh, yeah. oh, 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 lovely. The voice of an angel. Right, so so that's are you ready now? Now that I've had my warm up, did you like that? Okay, yeah, I'll count um, you in. Just 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 run, everybody. Okay, I'll count you in. Ready? Okay, yeah. Five, four, three, two.